Like I said, you're welcome to, you're welcome to get another video today. We're going to be adding basic items to a game. So, before I forget, I actually forgot to do something on the first episode. And that's just to add at event handler on all of these. So, if you just do so, that should fix some errors that I got when I tried to record it the first time. Okay, so now what you want to do is go to here, create a new package. You want to call it add a dot and add in it. And in here, we want to create a new class called mod items. And it, I want it to look right, so mod items. So we're going to create a couple of methods. So we want a public static void initialize. You want a public static void register. You want a public static void register item. Okay, so what we use this for, this one's just for initializing, this is for registering, and this is for red, like basically instead of having really long, we just use this method. So, the first thing that you want to do is go to a public static item. And this item, I'm going to call it copper underscore ingot. And you want to import this item from that Minecraft item. Then, in init, you want to do copper underscore ingot. And it equals to a new item. And dot set unlocalized name. I'm going to set this to copper underscore ingot. Now we want to register this. This is just initializing. We need to register it. So in here, in the parentheses, we want to make sure it takes an item. And then we want to register it. And the way of registering is game registry dot register. Then go down to item and just item, then item dot get unlocalized name dot substring five and I don't know why it always does that and then this is going to basically take in this and that's how it registers it I'm also going to just do a system dot out dot print line just to let it know that we registered it so registered item and then just do a plus item dot get unlocalized name dot substring five so this will then tell you and you want to register item and put copper ingot in there so now I want to go to here and then in your pre in it you want to do mod items dot in it mod items dot register and that's just going to register it and then if we run this this will bring up the item without like it won't have a name it'll be like item dot copper underscore ingot dot name and it won't have a texture but that's going to use what we did in the last tutorial to do that so once this is loaded I can show you this and also if you check chat you should see it printing in chat like um, that is registered the item so it's just a way of debugging if you have any issues so we have to do is wait for it to load it shouldn't take too long to load and once it has, there you go, you've seen it. It's, okay, minimize that. Minimize. Okay, if you see this, look, it says registered item copper underscore ingot. So it has registered, it is in the game. And it says the model definition is missing for it because we haven't actually set the model definition for the item. But if you go to here, load up your world 
and you should then see that if you do slash give press tab press b o press tab and that's just your mod id by the way and then so item dot copper underscore ingot dot name and it has no texture but it is an item and it's in the game so that's what we're going to do now we're going to add a texture to it so the way we do this is we're going to make a new method in here and it's going to be another public static void and it's going to be called register renders so this is where we register all of the renders and like we did here for registering the item we're going to do the same for registering the renders so it's a public static void register render and we're going to take an item as well so the way we're going to register the render is minecraft dot get minecraft dot get render item dot get item model measure dot register and you want the item which is the item metadata which is zero the location is a new model res resource lo I haven't spelled that right new model resource location and it is the reference dot mod id plus you want colon plus item dot get unlocalized name dot substring and it's done that again just substring five I don't know why oh, it does that and in here you want to put inventory and then that should be that method done so then if you just type in register render and then put copper to put ingot in that should register the render of our ingot now you want to go over to proxy and in the client proxy you want to go mod items and spell it right dot and you want to register renders okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the model made so, what you want to do is open up your file explorer and then you want to go to where your mod is found. So, mine is here. Now, here you want to make some new folders. So, you want assets. Then, in here, you want your mod ID, so BOE for me. And if you go into that, want to create a couple of new folders, you want to create a folder called lang you want to create a folder called textures you also want to create a another new folder called models now we're going to get the model done so if you go into here and it is item And then back into textures, it is items in here. Now, all of these folders should appear in here. So there you go, they appear. So now in here, we want to create a new untitled text file. And it's going to be item.copper underscore ingot dot name equals copper ingot. So this is just going to set the name. So obviously find your path all the way again. That's in lang and you want to call it en underscore us dot lang. Press enter. So that's in there. Now you want to create a new model. So the way I do it is I go into reference libraries, forge source, assets, Minecraft. Now this is where you're gonna get your models from. So model item now there's an absolute turn just open apple and you'll say that you can't open it okay so now what we want to do is we want to get the model for our thing so the way of doing this is in fact go into your start menu typing in percent app data 
percent press on roaming dot minecraft versions 1.8.8 then you want to right click on this open with winrar now you see assets folder you want to choose a destination so I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to rename this because in the last two times I tried to record this that is in fact lethal resource back 1.9 so create a new folder and I'm going to call my default resource pack 1.8. That's what it is. So in here, you want to go assets, drag, and it's going to extract that. It shouldn't take too long to do. Just let it do its thing. You should have it all done in there. So let's just wait for that. Okay, so it's done it now, so we can in fact close this. Now in here, you want to go to models, and um, you want to find the model that you want to use. So, mine is Apple, so you want to open up this, and you see all of this. So you want to control C this. Now in here, in models.item, you want to create a new untitled text file paste this and I'll just change add BOE colon and change this bit to the unlocalized name so copper underscore ingot now you can save this and you gotta find the path again in models item and you're going to call this copper underscore ingot dot JSON so that's now in there now I want to get textures so we can also do this in here so minecraft textures items because i'm going to use the texture for iron so you want to get iron ingots you want to open this i prefer to use paint.net i like paint.net it is a very good software and this is free so once that opens we can then obviously create our texture which shouldn't be too difficult to do so it is opening um, you want, I like to zoom in. Now these the uh, canvas size can be 16 by 16, uh, 32 by 32, 64 by 64, 128 by 128, 256 by 256, and 512 by 512. So what I want to do, I want to copy this. So Control A, Control C, Control N. So all create a new one. Paste it with Control V. Now zoom in. Now you want to change this. So. I'm going to quickly texture up my image and you can watch it with me so I bring it down to something like 60 I press fill you want to uh, disable that and fill this press control shift click on that bring it up a notch press control shift press enter every time after and like just keep doing this um, so, I'm just going to try and make it so it goes like dark to light is what I like to do. That's how I model and change the image for like ingots, like this. And then you want the last one, which is brightest. Which is that one. That looks really good. So you want to save this. Now you're going to save this exactly here. Uh, you would have to obviously direct to it, but this is because I've done it before. So couple underscore ingot. Press save. Press OK, and it saved that. Now we can exit off that, and now we can actually run the game. I really fingers crossed that this will work because third time lucky, as they always say. And I just really, really hope this works. Should work. You shouldn't have any errors. It was because the whole flipping time I was using the 1.9 models not 1.8 which is very clever of me and I feel like an absolute idiot as you can tell by the time difference between clips but everything should be working as normal and you should see it being textured so I'll see you once the game's loaded okay so the game has loaded so now we go to single player and we can play the world and everything should 
work. Fingers crossed, everyone. And we have a textured ingot with its name copper ingot. So yes, the tutorial worked. And I'm actually going to turn off clouds because I forgot to do that. And yep, so that is all I'm going to do for today. Thank you for watching.